gender. I identify as a woman. Hi, uh, I'm Steven Solaina. I identify as a man and I'm a bisexual man. So I feel it's very important um, for people to essentially understand someone else's reality and see them for who they really are. In the kind of world that we're living in, uh, where people from the LGBT community, they are still being suppressed in all sorts of ways. So uh, when that kind of suppression comes in, there is a need to want to rise above it. There has been a lot more representation of people from the community in media. However, I do feel it's very much led by gay men. And while that's great that they are getting representation, I do feel that it doesn't give an overall picture of everyone else under the umbrella. It most certainly can. When you have media that portray trans people or women in general in a very negative light, and especially for trans women, they've never showed them as anything other than men in dresses. They've never actually shown the life of a real trans person and you don't get to connect them. It can lead to a plethora of issues because when you're not represented well and then you actually get an idea of okay maybe this is who I am and you try to come out. When you do come out there is a no understanding from either your family or from people around you. When your own family rejects you it can be very heart-wrenching because that's the support that you have or had. And when you lose that, it can lead to a lot of mental issues. You can go through loneliness and depression. There was this even greater urge to have to establish your dominance, your masculinity in front of everyone. You know, you have to be the alpha dog, you know, the silver back. I had to keep it down because uh, I knew right there itself, like it, it didn't have to be uh, said out loud, but I knew that okay, you know what, this is something that you need to keep on the down road, something you don't really talk about. I think the entire concept of the chosen family is one of the best things that could have happened to people belonging to the LGBT plus community. You don't really have that connect with you know, the cisgender heterosexuals around you, you tend to seek that kind of connection or that feeling of belongingness with someone from your neighborhood. When you have a chosen family over there, it's when you know that, you know, you have someone who are with you through your good days, through your bad days. In terms of leading stories, leading narratives, leading movies, TV shows, miniseries, whatever it may be, people from the community need to take that flag and need to walk ahead. Have brands, even the ones that uh, are established for decades, just break through that norm, you know, uh, where we go out and we say that, okay, you know what, we, we want to welcome any family and every family, no matter what your orientation may be, no matter how you identify yourself in terms of gender. We open and welcome anyone to come and use our products and services.